Okay, well, this is a continuation on this um, pendulum clock mechanism uh, that I got out of a electronic pendulum clock. That one of the commenters said that that little chip in there he had analyzed to be what's called an M34 LED flasher chip that flashes at one hertz. So I ordered them and it doesn't work. And uh, you see how that just goes back and forth? It's got no feedback capability. And it'll spin this thing for a while, and then it'll go out of sequence, and it'll just stop and then just oscillate back and forth. And I worked and worked and worked with this to try to get it to do what I wanted it to do. And you can see the LED is flashing there, and it flashes at 1 hertz. But unless you get a feedback into the circuit from the rotor, the um, circuit doesn't work except for like a, a back and forth oscillator. It doesn't really work as a motor driver like that does. And that is this uh, LED blinker driver that is a complementary transistor that uses um, capacitors, resistors, two um, transistors, and a feedback coming from the coil as the magnets goes around in front of the coil it puts a feedback into the circuit which keeps the device running and I still don't know what that little chip is right in there um, it's just marked I believe L1 which if you look it up it's just a normal transistor but a normal transistor won't do that you know won't do that so that's still kind of a mystery but this is kind of an interesting thing it, it's a motion device but it just won't, uh, it won't continue to run. Uh, and I tried all different kinds of coils and drivers and everything else. But the circuit in that chip is what's called a RC, resistance capacitance circuit, as opposed to an LC, an inductance capacitance circuit. And you can see it's got no feedback to it. It just, it just uh, pulses. And you need a feedback into the system to keep the motor running. Anyway, that's the latest on this um, quest with these uh, little uh, pulse motor driver circuits. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.